I was growing up, really, women didn't have a lot of opportunity to play sports. When I came out of high school in the 70s, we didn't have scholarships for women. So you really just picked a school to pick the school. I wanted to go somewhere close to home, chose St. Joe's, and it was nothing like what we have today. We didn't have anything. We didn't have practice clothes. We had to do our own laundry. We bought our own sneakers. We drove ourselves to the games, but we played for the love of the game, and we made some great friendships along the way. I love playing basketball and I love sports. And when I graduated from college, of course, there wasn't a pro league at that time. So in order to stay in sports, the only option available was to get into coaching. And I was fortunate that a high school job opened and I applied, got the job. And from my very first practice, I knew this was my life's work. So I worked at St. Joe's for a couple of years and then the job opened at Lehigh and I knew I wanted to be a head coach. So I decided to take the job and that launched my career. When I went to Notre Dame, I thought, wow, this is this is going to be exciting. I had so many assistant coaches. I had so many people doing things for me. But it was great because I got to focus just on basketball. I got to watch more film. I got to study the game. I got to get to know the players. But it certainly came with a little bit more pressure. So it was really difficult to make the NCAA tournament. And that was, of course, always the goal. That's why I left Lehigh. I wanted to do more on the national stage. So having that opportunity to come to Notre Dame and to go for that first NCAA tournament. That was the big prize for me. Winning a national championship was a fabulous way to end the season. Not very many teams get to do that. But you are the one team that ended your season on a win. And it is a feeling that you never, ever will forget. Initially, when I came to Notre Dame, coaches were kind of dictators. And I had to find a way to change that. You know, we're not really coaches, we're educators. I think our main job was to empower women, to build confidence in women. I was very tough on them, I was demanding. Uh, I think mental toughness was something that they really had to learn. But when you think of all those great things that you learn from playing sports that help you no matter what you go through. And I love when the players would come back and say, boy, this really difficult thing happened to me, but I knew I could handle it because I knew I faced the adversity and you helped me get through that. Well, we didn't have a lot of female role models back when I was growing up. You couldn't look up and see all these women playing basketball. So to look at my team and try to empower them, try to get them to that point where I am graduating future leaders is something that I take really seriously. For today's student athlete, you have to embrace failure. It's just an opportunity to start over and learn more and grow from it. So you have to be willing to put yourself out there, to take risks, not be afraid to fail and not do anything out of fear but just go forward and see what you can accomplish and you will be amazed at how much you can accomplish when you believe in yourself.